I had an incredible time during the first day of the Airliners International 2022 convention in Chicago. After a jam-packed 18-hour day, I am super excited to dive into day 2 of Airliners International. Join me as we attend the largest aviation convention in the world. From thousands of aviation memorabilia items to thousands of fellow aviation enthusiasts, it is a given that we're going to have a great time. Let's waste no further time and dive into day 2 of Airliners International. Here we go everybody! Welcome everybody to the day two vlog for Airliners International. I am so excited to dive into this video today. We have so much in this vlog to encompass and man, it was an absolutely loaded day and I really hope you guys are excited for it. So with all that being said, we do have a couple things to go over before we get started with the actual vlog portion. So I did want to go over those with you guys so you guys are fully caught up to speed on what's going on. So the first element that I would like to talk about before we get started is if you guys have not got a chance to check out the day one content with the day one vlog and the baseball vlog, I would highly recommend checking those out so you're caught up to speed. They're very critical videos in the airliners international content and really get you caught up to speed on what's going on so if you've not got a chance to see those yet i'd highly recommend checking those out so you're fully caught up to speed on what's going on so definitely feel free to check those out the card should have been going above so feel free to check those out and then come back to this video if you need to so here we go with the day two vlog everybody again it's going to be kind of similar to the day one vlog there but there was a lot of different b-roll footage and pictures of different tables so it's definitely a unique experience not to mention that a lot more people came on this day and it was just a completely different experience so i hope you guys are excited for it. it was an absolute blast we have a bunch of fun with uh tons of video clips pictures i mean it was an absolute blast so i really hope you guys are excited for it we have a bunch to go into so format's going to be fairly similar we'll just alternate between videos and pictures and everything that i have and we'll just go over, uh go over the full details excuse me we have so much to dive into and i really hope you guys are excited for it so yeah really excited to get into this and let's get started as we had a busy morning to start as it was already time to get started so after a very good night's sleep i ended up waking up at 7 a.m which was quite interesting because i usually don't wake up before my alarm because my alarm was set for 8 a.m. So that was quite interesting. But man, I guess I must have just been that excited to get to the convention. I can't complain. After a great night's sleep, it was very good. So I was already getting excited and I was super ready. So since I woke up early, I just decided to knock out all the YouTube content and get that fully uploaded for the next two days. So I did that and that took about 30 minutes, which is fine because the doors did not open on this day till 9 a.m. The convention ran from 9 a.m. to 6 a.m. Definitely the longest day of the convention uh, was that uh, nine hours. So very long time, but man, I was super excited. So I got all that YouTube content organized, and then after that, I got in the shower. I was getting ready. I was I was moving as fast as I could because, man, I was ready to get over there, and I was so excited. And in that intermission, I took a look at Flight Radar 24. Now, I was interested because they were still using the West Flow at Chicago. If you're a Chicago spotter, you guys already know what I'm about to get into with the East-West Flow. I won't go too much into it right here. We'll save that for the Chicago Spotting Vlog, which will be the next video of the Airliners International Series. Be sure to be ready for that. That video was so much fun. It was absolutely incredible, and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. That was an incredible meetup. But anyways, getting off topic there, I went on my radar and I was like, man, they're using West Flood. That's really cool. But then I saw a really interesting plane that I was really excited about. And I had a good enough view from my hotel window to see it. So I think it was landing on nine center, I believe. I'm pretty sure it may have been nine left. It was one of those. But nevertheless, landing over here on this side of the airport on the West Flow, we had a Cutter Cargo Boeing 777 freighter, which was so cool to get to see, man. I've been wanting to see one of these for a long time. And it was so cool. The lighting was kind of interesting, but I can't complain. The picture turned out really good. So uh, I knew that I was coming, opened the window blind, and that was it. So it was really cool to get to see that. We get to see a bunch of additional aircraft in the next video, so be sure to stay on the lookout for it. But it was still super cool to get my day started like that. And I was really excited because I knew I was going to be spotting later, and man, it was just what a vibe that was. So really good to get to see the Qatar Cargo Boeing 777 Freighter. I think it was coming in from Dallas, maybe? I'm not completely sure. But nevertheless, it was a blast, and I was so glad I was able to get to see that. So once we saw that, I was still moving around, getting ready. I was getting my bag ready and getting everything that I needed. And I was trying to think if there was anything else. Just getting the equipment equipment, make sure I had enough storage on my phone, all that fun stuff. And man, I was so excited. So got out of there by like probably 830 or so, but I did see one more plane before I went over to the Hilton Rosemont. And that was the uh, ANA Boeing 777-300ER, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm so excited. So got to see ANA, which is really cool. I have seen ANA in the past. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But I didn't realize I would end up seeing like three or four of them by the time I was done in Chicago. So I could have definitely passed on this one, but I'm not complaining because I was glad I was able to see it. And the lighting was pretty good too. So I was very happy to get to see that. So that was absolutely awesome. So after getting to see the A&A Boeing 777-300ER, it was time to make our way over to the Hilton Rosemont. I was I was ready to go, man. I was so excited. And man, I hope you guys are excited for this. So just like uh, the day one vlog, very similar format. We'll alternate between B-roll and pictures. There was a bunch of great stuff. We have a bunch of different tables and videos in this uh, in this uh, at day two vlog. Excuse me, I cannot talk today. But nevertheless, I really hope you guys are excited for it. It's going to be an absolute blast. And we have a ton to dive into. Let's waste no further time, everybody, and get over to the Hilton Rosemont Hotel. Let's do this. Here we go. 
Good morning, everybody, from day two of Airliners International 2022. Just had some breakfast, feeling great. Another nice day. I think it's like, I don't know, probably 75 or so right now. Feels pretty good. It's going to be a little warmer today, but that's all good. Today's plan of action is going to the convention from 9 to 3-ish, lunch break, thing like that, somewhere in there. And then we'll be off to um, Spot. I think we're going to do the Dave & Buster's cross the street down there, so should be good. But this Rosemont parking garage has been interesting. Let me show you guys. So this garage was busting last night. It had a lot of business, but for whatever reason, yesterday afternoon and now this morning, it's been pretty quiet. So um, also got some additional amenities for today. Got some water and some additional models. If somebody wants to buy them up. So those were duplicates and I had the time and everything so but yeah currently on the way to the Hilton as we speak um I'm gonna try to get the Dallas stuff prepared today if I have a chance this evening because the Dallas show I'm really excited for and obviously gonna be going <laughs> it'll be a much a little bit more simple compared to this one because Dallas is kind of my backyard if you want to say that so I'm really excited for that but yeah Alrighty, everybody, here we go with the day two vlog. Man, I am so excited just looking back and editing this, man. I miss it so much, but man, I was so excited for day two and what an event it was, man. Without any further delay, let's just dive into it because, man, it was an absolute blast. So as soon as I got to the Hilton Rosemont Hotel, in the lobby, I found JJ Skippy and AS Aviation, which was so cool to get to meet AS Aviation, man. He is an awesome guy. What a guy AS is, man. As you guys know, I've been a big supporter of his channel and he's been so nice to be a big supporter of my channel for several years now we've tried this uh schedule meetups for the longest time but this worked out perfectly of course you guys know he lives close to chicago so that was so cool to get the meet him man he is an awesome guy and that was just that was a surreal experience man that was so cool and that was an absolute blast so as soon as that happened everybody was already ready to go so we took it over to the right room and we had a bunch going on in there so there's a lot of video clips to come so we'll take a look at those but we have a couple of pictures here to get us started today and man it was an absolute unit so beginning right here with one of the uh one of the beautiful vendor tables i'm not sure uh who this was so i apologize about this i probably retailer fied the guest because you can see some jc wings and some phoenix down there but here's a beautiful plethora of the ng models lineup just kind of looking back after spotting uh at chicago there was a couple of these i probably would have snagged like the air france a350 and some of those but nevertheless it's still really cool you can also see some united star wars in the background those were absolutely awesome so cool to get to see those here at airliners and also some various planes like some tuplovs and we have some uh l1011s in there plenty of them actually quite a few some from even two years ago so some Saul Bass 747. So there was a lot of awesome finds at this table. And then you also see some really cool JC Wings back there. There's a nice Japan special livery, uh, some ANAs, really, really nice, some Turkish, Qantas, really nice stuff right there. So this was a beautiful table and it was so cool to get to see this and take a look at it. That was absolutely awesome. Following into that, we also had this awesome Gemini Jets uh, 1 to 400 table. Got some Gemini Jets Max there in the front to start out. And this was mainly newer stuff. So you're going to find some Electras on there, some interactive 747s. Looks like in the box, we have plenty of flaps down planes, quite a few to say at least mainly cargo stuff looks like we also had some emirates a380s and some emirates planes in general in there and uh maybe eddie had cargo of sorts and maybe a single no eddie had a380 special livery okay very cool and then over there on the left side we had some narrow bodies more flaps or actually some heavies too but we have more flaps down aircraft looks like some various uh mainline aircraft uh some southwest freedom ones over there on the top left so that was a really good uh table or this one it was separate from that previous one this one was in the middle land side it was a really cool table there was a lot of aero class series as we'll see here in a minute and a lot of various planes so and again i apologize about the lack of b-roll guys i was just having such a blast but i promise for next year i'll be on top of it i'm really excited for it so hope you guys are excited for us that I don't know. hope you guys are excited for that as well let's jump into the uh, b-roll because we have a bunch of awesome clips to dive into so let's do it i also got my american md from yes no this now this is not the big room a yes you probably see the big room first but we'll show, we'll get him started with the appetizer first i thought this is what was the price on that this one is 50. 50. <laughs> one to 400. oh yeah a couple that i brought for both Oh, nice. No, I don't know if that's okay. Nice, that nice. One. And then this one. There's only two 1 to 400s I have. I'm a 1 to 500 guy. Oh, okay, cool. I have, I have no use for 1, one to 500. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Purpose, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Purpose is good. I'll, got I'll, some cool stuff. Alrighty, boys. <laughs> AS is getting ready to go into the ballroom for the first time. Yes, I'm, I'm very excited to see his reaction here. It's going to be incredible, man. AS is already no G, man. He's only been what here is, for half what, what is yeah. going on? He's, he's getting interviewed, man. 
So AS here, getting, getting ready to go into the ballroom. We gotta go all the way around. Yeah, so we're going around. AS getting interviewed. Best part of everything right now. Here we go, boys. Here we go. All right, into the. Well, I got the paparazzi on me, bro. What is this? <laughs> yeah, here we go. They all follow me around. Going to the ballroom. Me. Here we go. Uh, yeah, how do you he feel? How does it feel to be this? Must be, this, this is we where it feels to have a million subscribers, bro. It may happen, man. It may no, happen. <laughs> Those guitar trip reports are going to keep popping off and flying before January 23. That's the small room. That's not the big room. You see that door right there? Yeah. That's going to be it. it. That's going to be it. All righty. Here we go. This is where you're going to go, bro. Oh, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like a million bucks. No, okay, yes. Sorry, I'm sorry. This left right here. This one? Yes, this one right here. Well, hello. Welcome. Hello. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Is my reaction underwhelming? <laughs> I, was like, I think it was because of all. What the heck? No, no. Wow. Oh, that that's nice. Yes. The full airplane shop lineup. Wow. Okay. All right. They got rid of that. Well, I haven't bought any. You know, in Japan, everyone came in for us. Yeah, I saw that triple three. Yeah. yeah yes. It's kind of yes. part of 12. Oh, sweet. Any pl price drops over here today? No. 27, 37, 33. Oh, there's the URL, 320. There it is right there. There it is. Sorry. You like? Alrighty, everybody. So here we go in the even more pictures. We have several good ones and several events that were also going on simultaneously that I'm going to talk about in this segment because it's so hard because you literally can't do everything all at once, which is, it's crazy. It's like, it's like you want to do everything, but you're not able to. You can only be one person, only be one place at one time. So that is probably the hardest thing about the convention, but it's what makes it so fun is that you can't get bored. There's literally so many things to do, and I thought it was super cool. So huge props to Airliners International for making that possible. But nevertheless, we have several pictures to assess here. Really excited to get into these, and without any further delay, let's take a look at what the morning on Friday looked like at Airliners International. Here we go. So of course, we started at 9 o'clock like we talked about. We were just over there in the right room, which, man, that room was absolutely absolutely amazing especially for one of the 400 collectors but back into the grand ballroom we went uh we go excuse me hope you guys enjoyed as reaction i'm sorry as that we put you in that kind of situation but i hope it was okay so nevertheless here we go so beginning with all these safety cards my goodness take a look at this and this is what i love about airliners man just looking back editing it i never get bored and i always notice something new from these pictures and videos that i captured because just take a look at this we'll start up there on top with this sonic 727 it looks like for uh in somewhere in there so that's really cool or sorry show i'm sorry i i thought the h was an n my apologies there and then you have a Alo aloha airline safety card right there uh uh, Caribbean Airlines and then you guys can see all them lots of taps right there in the middle which is really cool you can see the Pacific West excuse me I cannot talk today looking really good there in the middle I can't see that airline name so I apologize but some really cool airline right there Air Jamaica then back up there you got some BMI stuff which is really cool Wizz Air so really going international with this lineup that's really cool Cape Air uh, Grand Air right there MGM and then of course you got some more up there in the top right looks like we have an ATA very cool and then some really cool airlines in there uh, so yeah really nice safety card lineup quite diverse to say the least and you'd find these all around from the grand ballroom to that big uh, lobby area which is really cool there was some also some more in the right room and then upstairs excuse me on the second floor we'll take a look at some more here in a minute so that was a really nice deck of safety cards right there it was really nice next in line right here you can see a beautiful lineup of shirts uh i'm gonna see if i can find the website here i apologize um i was not able to get it off uh, the top of my head but i believe they have a website if i am able to find it i will insert it but they have an awesome website with all these shirts i hope i'm able to find this for you guys so nevertheless as you guys can see we have many great t-shirts and i about bought several of them i was really close but you can see the american airlines right there eric allen you just you name it it's there bird Airways concord it was really cool they had a nice a nice variety of airline shirts aircraft or orientated airline shirts and just some aircraft shirts too so i really like that about this table and if you were looking for any shirt right there it was really really nice and i'm sorry that i had some voice cracks right there on the microphone i don't want this to be too um too uh, annoying of a viewing experience in that department so i apologize but nevertheless let me see if i can make the voice a little bit more fluid if you guys know what i'm saying i'm sorry just very excited it was so much fun and man i miss it it's a very nice table of shirts right there very nice next in line right here as you can see we have several timetables i believe this is all also in the grand ballroom on 
Ooh, I think it was on the back wall on the far side, I'm pretty sure. But nevertheless, you guys can see several awesome things, including uh, some various uh, timetables right here on your left. Of course, plenty of them, uh, just a bunch of miscellaneous airlines. Something for airports right there, which is really cool. And take a look at those airport timetables in that big container right there, the third one from the left. How about that? So I'm sure that there was some many great airlines there. I unfortunately didn't get the look, but that looks super, super cool. Then back down to the bottom, you guys can see some different icons. I'm not sure exactly what those are used for, but they look pretty cool. Maybe some kids stuff, possibly. We haven't seen some kids on there. Uh, there's the American Airlines logbook. That is so cool. I think that's awesome. Really cool concept right there. That's really cool. You got the ATA Airlines uh, badge right there as well. Some different, more timetables it looks like down there. And then various things. More safety cards in that big container and some magazines and different things. Uh, likewise for the bottom one. And then back there you guys can see some books and some different things. So this is a really cool table, especially for in the reading things. I personally wish I had more time to do it. I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree with that verdict. But nevertheless, a really cool uh, table nevertheless. It was an absolute blast. You can take a look at that one. This is that big timetable um, store website. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Again, as you guys can see, really nicely organized too. It looks like you got some winter stuff right there on that second one and then this front one. Uh, just every airline in the book. It was also very uh, interesting to see how different eras were t uh, were priced differently. So I think some of the older ones were more expensive, kind of logical, but really, really cool to see that. And this again, this isn't a forte of mine. I'm not completely an expert on this. So if any of you guys are, please leave a comment. I would love to learn more about the, uh, the life of a uh, timetable. So, but they seem really cool, have a really cool concept, and I think they are absolutely awesome. So I love to see that right there. And if you just need to go get a flight, you show up 20 minutes before, pay for it, and there it is. So the life of the 19 uh, late 90s, or not late 90s, but the late 1900s. That's what I'm looking for. So really, really cool stuff right there. Well, you know, from the 50s on. But nevertheless, that was a really cool concept, in my opinion. That was super cool. Next in line right here, as you guys can see, we have a beautiful American Airlines, the Jet Airline bag. I believe this was their Jet flagship uh, icon of sorts. It was something like that or astrojet it was one of those i think but this is a really cool bag i wish i would have bought more like these but i really i uh, controlled my spending which um it's gonna be interesting to choose how or decide how i'm gonna do that in the future but as you guys can see right here this is a beautiful bag of course just from the zipper to the handle really really nicely done and it's just such a cool piece of aviation memorabilia and this is what i love about airliners finding all these various items on the left right there you also got some sort of air cargo um I don't know if that's a shirt or a bag or what exactly that is, but that's really cool. Then on the right, you got some sort of manuals probably of sorts right there. So there was a ton of manuals too, which I also thought was really cool. So that was very nice to see as well. Very nice. This is the full picture of the Grand Ballroom. This is probably the best one I have right here. I'm not going to go through every table because, of course, you guys have seen the details. Those tape timetables are over there on the right. Have some playing cards right there in the middle. That was a very popular thing back in first class, back way back when. You know, they had uh, playing cards and just different activities. Because keep in mind, guys, no phones during this time. IFE was pretty much non-existent. Um, yeah, it was literally playing cards and anything else that you could find in first class. So quite an interesting situation there. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. So that was really nice. On the left side there, there was a bunch of those um, thumbtacks again, which was super cool. And I hope to get more of those because I think those are really cool. So those were very nice to see. And just take a look, man. The uh, Gemini 200 guy was back down there in the middle, which was really cool. So what an awesome assortment of aircraft, man. That is so cool. Take a look at that. That is awesome. Very nice. The next picture right here. So this was from the small room that you guys saw the American Airlines 737 Max in from a couple the uh, day one vlog. This room was very interesting. It was a pretty small room, but I still thought it was pretty nice. So it was probably, you know, probably the size of my um, it, my big room out here in the, uh, if you guys have seen that in other videos, that's about the size of what it did, was. But nevertheless, there were some very cool items. This was definitely probably the best table of the day in terms of um, aviation. Um, um, what do I want to call this? Um, uh, kitchen stuff. I don't know what the term I want to use here. Um, I'm sure... Uh, silverware, silverware and all that stuff. That uh, silverware is not perfect because it was glasses, dishes, whatever you want to call this. This is what this was. So as you guys can see, plenty of different uh, memorabilia in terms of the cups and everything, which is super cool. Bunch of glasses down there as well. So very diverse table and quite uh, quite a table to say the least. So that was very cool to get to see that as well. And again, guys, expect more B-roll in the footage or in the future. Sorry, I just uh, really orientated on pictures and I was just having a great time. So but I promise learning from this experience, I'll just put my phone on my chest 
guest and still enjoy the experience. That's cool. So look, I, I could get a mount. That actually may not be a bad idea. So I may consider that, but nevertheless, super cool. Very nice. Next up right here, this was a super cool model. So we ended up going up to the second floor and this was, I believe, I'm not sure what the name of the room was. Let me get it real quick. I think it was the uh, Lindbergh maybe. Yes, this was the Lindbergh room, I believe. And they had some really cool items in here. So they did have some models, but this was mainly more, it was a little bit of everything. There were some models, but there was also mainly a lot of shirts and bags and different things like that. And also just, it was a lot of kit models too were up there. So it was a really diverse room, but it was an interesting part. And I'm sure that a lot of people, unfortunately, weren't able to make it up there because they didn't know about it. But nevertheless, as you guys can see right here, we have a really cool, I'm assuming this is some sort of corporate model of this Express Jet Ember Ear J145 in their like late 2000s house livery. This was really cool in like the 1 to 1 scale. Quite a nice box to say the least with a stand. Somebody did end up buying this. So whoever bought this, congratulations to you because when I saw it gone, that was unfortunate. But I did have to snag a picture of how cool that model was. I'm sure it was some sort of corporate plane. I doubt that anybody would do this outside of that. So really, really cool aircraft and what a nice delivery that express jet had back in the day it was really really cool to see that that was really nice this was the other side of the Lindbergh room right here, as you guys can see. So uh, it was really nice to get to see. And this was the various stuff I was talking about. This was kind of the United Airlines Forte with some Continental stuff too. So you guys can see some United Notebooks. Uh, it appears to be that we had some different... Uh, excuse me, I cannot talk. <coughs> Sorry, okay. Some different, um, I'm not sure exactly what those are down there. Some sort of like pamphlets or something it looks like. And then on the right, you can see some brief amenity kits. I think I get some footage of that at some point. So that was really cool. More uh, cups back there in the background, which is really nice. So a nice variety of items. And if you're that type of person that really enjoys uh, trying to find items that you flew with way back when, this was definitely the area for you. That was really cool. Sorry about that, everybody. Of course, I got a phone call, but oh my goodness. Take a look at this Chicago Municipal Airport replica. Wow. Oh my goodness. Where do I even begin with how amazing this replica is? Uh, we'll go more into this on the day three vlog because I have more footage and pictures of it. And along with that, there's also a very good Facebook post that I'd like to assess for you guys. But taking a look at this for the first time that I saw it, man, it was so cool, man. First off, huge, um, huge um, kudos and just amazing work by the guy. I got to talk to him on day three, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in that, but he did a phenomenal job putting this together. I asked him how long it took and everything, and man, those answers are so, <laughs> they were so insane. I'm not even gonna say them, but man, this guy did an incredible job putting this together. Of course, this to represent the uh, Chicago Municipal Airport. I believe this was in the 40s i think it was 30s or 40s but this was so awesome of course you got the united airlines dc3 and the american flagship dc3 the stars of the show right there then of course you got the passengers and just the detail and that post will really go into detail about how amazing this replica is i think it was one to 100 maybe it was somewhere in that ballpark but man this replica took so much time and once we see the full details of it you guys will understand there's even all kinds of annotations and poachers and all kinds of cool stuff inside the actual terminal building and and this was so so good uh, from the details of the clothing on the passengers at the time to the baggage to just imagery it was picture perfect this guy did an incredible job making this diagramma and i have never seen anything so detailed in my life and it rightfully got first place at the uh the uh, the contest which that was my next talking point. So the next talking point that I wanted to mention here, I apologize, was that, um, well, to finish this up, I'm sorry, I kind of got sidetracked, but this was an incredible replica. Expect more assessments of this in the day three vlog because we're gonna go much farther in depth because it is so nice. It most certainly deserves that attention. It most certainly was deserving of its first place rating as well. So that was the next thing I was gonna go into is there was some subtitles that I wanted to talk about during this time that I didn't really get the feature very well. And in this room, the next topic I want to talk about, what they actually have really cool contest for best model airport diorama sorry for the voice crack again but best model airport diorama they also had a photo contest i want to get the book here real quick to make sure i didn't miss anything okay so the proper title of this was model photo in the postcard displays and contest which was so cool so you can just display but you can also put them in for a contest and i have some very good pictures coming up of all the results and all that fun stuff but man, this replica, oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen something so incredible. The fact that this was able to get transported as well in one piece is so cool. And I, I'm just dumbfounded. So awesome. 
a massive kudos and props to the guy that made this and i can't words can't even describe how incredible it is and i mean that it is so cool so awesome job by this guy excited to dive into more detail and perhaps we even make a full video so if you're interested in the full video assessing this amazing model airport let me know and i probably need to get approval from the guy before i do that but man absolutely awesome nice work and that was so nice really nice job right there that is absolutely incredible well done my friend Alrighty, so heading back into the right room, there was some more awesome items to take a look at. Take a look at that Gemini 250, American Airlines, McDonald Doubles, MD-80. Be sure to stay tuned if I end up getting this aircraft. Man, it was such a pretty aircraft to get to see, and I didn't even know about it, so it was so awesome to get to see this Gemini 250, American Airlines, McDonald Doubles, MD-82, and what a unit it is. I think, I'm trying to think of the tail number off the top of my head, but man, what a beautiful aircraft. I didn't even know that Gemini made this incredible aircraft, and I'm so glad that I was able to see it. Take a look at that 737-800 without winglets as well in the chrome livery right there that is very nice and as you can see we have some more awesome items like that american herpa aircraft right there the herpa atr and it looks like maybe we have some sort of uh, i can't see the bangkok airlines i think right there so really really nice to see that and this table is absolutely loaded speaking of this table this was also the display of his as you guys can see sorry that the picture uh got a little out of focus but various um skymarks aircraft and different ones so the antonov was definitely my favorite out of this picture but there's some really good ones including that united ember 120 the united dc8 fedex uh a300 the delta 757 was very unique quite a unique build right there really cool uh bae 146 of sorts right there or whatever that is i can't can't tell you what that is but looks really good and then you even have fat albert back there excuse me the united express crj uh 700 what a unit of aircraft dhl 77 aero mexico 737 air new zealand 737 that was a beautiful lineup and it was so cool to get to see those as well and just tell, let me know which one your guys' favorite is in the comments from this frame that is that is a really nice frame and i'd be eager to hear some opinions on that that was really nice you can also see some gemini jet stuff over there on the left as well those were really cool too here is a nice big picture, again, of the right room. Of course, uh, this wasn't the full room. It would have been hard to get a shot of that uh, from any of these angles, but from the front door would have been better. And I expect better pictures to come of the... Uh, 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 sorry, I, guys, I'm so excited I cannot talk. I'm going to try to get better with it, so I apologize. But the Airlines International 2023 show in Dallas will be in one full room, which is going to be so exciting, as far as I'm aware, unless if it changes. But one gigantic room, which will be crazy to assess, but I think it will be a bunch of fun. I'm really excited. So awesome room right here. You can see so many various models and just really cool. That is Zork DC-9. I think that's some sort of like pitcher or some, or not pitcher, but like a cardboard uh design of it i don't know what the proper term for that is but that was really cool just take a look at all the various elements that make this absolutely incredible that is absolutely awesome really really cool right there that's so nice here's the front on the airliners international 2022 sign which is really cool welcome to the world's largest air airline show in history and collection show so so cool and there was the starbucks right next to it that we previously talked about so that was really cool to get to see there on the side it was in a nice convenient location a lot of people utilized it it was really cool to get all that variety in there which was very much a appreciated. During this time, AS Aviation was also making his uh, trivia video, which was so cool, and I was so fortunate to get to be part of that. I did end up helping him film a lot, which I'm so glad I was able to do that. It was a bunch of fun, but I do want to say that is why there wasn't quite as much in the morning as what I anticipated, so I apologize, because we spent probably a solid hour or so working on content for that, but that video turned out so well, and it was so worth it. And it was so fun to get to see everybody's responses, how they played, and everything. It was so cool. So that was so fun, and it was really, really cool to get to see that as well. Also during this time, I wanted to mention it was unfortunate that I didn't get to attend one. This is what I was saying in the beginning of this pretty much 20 minute excerpt at this point, which I'm sorry it's been so long, but I do want to go into the full details of this because yes, uh, the next thing I wanted to mention that was going on that I unfortunately didn't get to be a part of because of how busy I was, was the seminar schedule, which was really cool. So they had various uh, aviation celebrities, if you want to call them that, but various influences in the industry come to, here, I'll just read it off. Airlines International 2022 Chicago is proud to bring you a series of educational seminars on various aspects of the world's airline industry all seminars will be held in armstrong really they're talking about where it is it was uh, across from the Lindbergh room on the second floor so it was nice and easy to get to but it was nice that they mentioned these now i want to mention thursdays because i forgot to mention who was on thursday but on thursday june 23rd uh, 2022 at 3 p.m in that room david stinger uh airways magazine editor had a um i don't know if you call it a show but like a 
had a speech on the airlines trunk airlines for of the 1960s that would have been very interesting to get to listen in on and just see what it was all about back then but unfortunately of course we didn't get a chance to do that so unfortunate but i hope to get to do that and it would be really cool to get to assess one of those details sometimes so hopefully i'll have more time doing in the future one thing maybe they could do it on like uh maybe like before the convention actually opens perhaps or after i think that would be pretty cool now the saturday night uh banquet they do have a speaker there and that's really good as well so i should mention that and that'll definitely be a good taste of that next year because i will be definitely going to the banquet so really excited for that and that'll be awesome and then at 5 p.m. on Thursday, Ryan Cooks had airline career opportunities by United Airlines, which was really cool. So obviously that would have been very well orientated for myself as a student pilot or anybody else looking to go into that industry, looking to uh, have advice on that. What What's to come? And probably even farther than just pilots, probably even into the realms of dispatch, ramp workers, um, you name it. Um, sorry, uh, aviation management, mechanic everything so that would have been really cool on friday june 24th at 1 p.m we had captain tom uh Livesley, hopefully i said it right my airline career unfortunately that's a little vague i can't tell you exactly what his airline career was about but i'm sure he may be on google and all that so really cool to get to see that and at 3 p.m we had michael uh harp hopefully i said that right chicago shaping the aviation industry so that per perhaps could have been a local in the area that knew it really well and got to talk about all those details so that was really nice so yes and we'll talk about the saturday ones in the saturday vlog so that was really cool to get to see as well and they did a great job with that too sorry for that little rant right there but thought i would mention it there because that was where we had it so again sorry that i wasn't able to get more details there but there we go um so we uh, mentioned all those and then the last thing i wanted to mint or two more things actually first off i did in this time frame get to see jj skippy alpine aviation um rpg iv scale models those were all the guys from thursday but along with that of course we got to see acs as i mentioned or as as i mentioned excuse me wrong uh wrong uh initials there and then we also got to see irish yt which is really cool so it's great to get to meet him awesome guy super super nice and we'll get to hear from him from in the chicago spotting vlog quite a bit so stay on the lookout for that so that was really cool and i also want to mention if i did not mention your name in your uh per, if i met you or in, something along those lines in that respective place please feel free to comment i'll mention it in an upcoming video because i want to make sure everybody get re gets recognized here and if i didn't get a handle for you guys i apologize so feel free to let me know if i did, did forget to mention you i'd be happy to add you in the list so i apologize if if I missed you, but that was the full list that I had at least. And the last thing I want to say, it was just so cool to get to meet everybody. Everybody was so nice and it was so cool to get to see so many new people on Friday, which was really cool. Of course, Thursday, everybody was getting in. Some people couldn't get off work all that fun stuff but on friday it came full circle everybody was there and it was just so cool what a vibe it was it was so cool to get to interact with everybody and i had an absolute blast so we do have some video clips to transition into which i'm really excited about lots of really good ones and i hope you guys are excited for the oh excuse me we do not we still have uh one final picture at the hilton rosemont hotel this is when we went outside me and as did to film that intro clip which was really cool so thought i'd get an awesome picture and of course it's a big hotel it's like almost 10 stories or so really really nice and I, i'm excited to get a room in the actual building this next time around so that'll be nice so nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this excerpt of the um uh day two vlog i cannot talk in this excerpt my mouth just gets so dry and not being able to take a break so nevertheless i'll make it more formal going forward but this is the raw rambling this is how the experience was and it's coming off my mouth so nevertheless i hope you guys are enjoying so far and let's transition into some video clips here we go before this next clip starts i just wanted to give a huge shout out to dg pilot because that is what this clip pertains to so huge shout out to dg pilot they are an amazing retailer donnie if you're watching this just want to give a huge thank you and props to you sir because you do an incredible job with dg pilot and everything that we have going dg pilot is an incredible model airplane retailer as you guys know they have an incredible selection of model aircraft to choose from all about customer service great guys you guys will see how genuine it was in this upcoming clip but man just want to give a huge shout out to dg pilot they have an incredible table and as you guys can see they are amazing guys so let's just dive into this clip thank you so much uh donnie for saying hi to the vlog and if you guys ever want to say hi to the vlog in upcoming airliners international uh vlogs be sure to uh, let me know because i would love to have as many of you guys in the vlogs as you would like but here we go for dg pilot would uh so excited to feature them and it's going to be absolutely awesome so here we go international 2022 dg pilot coming at you really appreciate everyone coming out this is full of aviation enthusiasts that all have a passion for airplanes flying machines and more so uh, got our lineup of die cast models here appreciate you coming through red river aviation love following you on uh, youtube and everything and the good work so uh, hope you come by and uh, see us today and enjoy the conference lots of uh, events from aviation history uh the weekend's gonna have the steward 
uh, that flew aboard Air Force One, so lots of uh, fun events as well. Um, and we're here to serve you. So come check us out, DG Pilot and the Grand Ballroom. Be sure to check them out, everybody. Address right here, website. They sell great products. Take a look at all of these. You can buy them all from dgpilot.com, then the uh, in-person store. Next year at Dallas, too. Next year oh, at yeah, Dallas, too. We can't too. wait to come Super to Dallas. Excited. Absolutely. We're excited to come to Dallas. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Super yeah. excited. Hope to visit the store soon, everybody. Yeah, we welcome you anytime. Yes. DG Pilot, love to see you. Yeah, thank you. And here we go with the Pan Am Worldport Tournament. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely incredible. So if you guys missed the day one vlog, or if you guys did get to see it, you may recall that the guy at this exact same table that had the Tallahassee 3D printed tournament mentioned that the Pan Am Worldport Tournament was gonna be there tomorrow, or in this case, the day two vlog. And as you guys can see right here, here it is, my goodness. This might be one of the most, uh, I cannot talk, I'm sorry. This might be one of the most most accurate replicas I have ever seen, especially that circular roof of the terminal. I don't know what you want to call it, but man, that is incredible infrastructure, printing, detail. I mean, you name it. That is so cool. So as you guys can see from left to right, you have the beautiful mat to start with, which looks really, really nice. It was very nice laminated. It was a very unique material. Really, really cool right there. They did a great job. There was the business card. I should have grabbed one. I'm sorry. I'll try to improve on that going forward. I got quite a few, but not that one, unfortunately. The Pan Am Worldport uh, magazine of sorts. I'm sure I went into more detail. And there's a really cool aerial view. And in the contrast to the full, I think this may have been a 1 to 600 replica. I'm not completely sure. But man, it was so cool. And just take a look at how beautiful the detail on top is. The double jet bridges. The built-in slots for the aircraft to park. I mean, man, that was so cool. So as you guys can see with the paper right there in the bottom, it was also for sale. I'm not sure if anybody bought it. But man, it was quite a cool replica. And it was so cool to get to see that. So you have two 747s right there various uh i think those are dc9s right there i could be wrong on that but those look like dc9s maybe some 737s peeking out back there on the top side of the circular object more 747s maybe sp even in there which is really cool and it looks like maybe uh a a300 or something along the lines of that right there as well over in the top right such a cool replica, man. Was so glad to get to see this, and this is an incredible piece of art. I cannot get over how detailed that roof is. That looks like literally the real life thing, and that is so cool. So this was super cool. What a unit this is, man, and I, it was just an incredible piece of art. So huge kudos to who made this. It was so good, and man, it deserves so much recognition, man. That was so cool. Well done. That was awesome. Very, very nice work right there. That was so cool. So following this, I did talk with Donnie for uh, an extended period of time probably 30 uh 30 to 45 minutes uh various uh members of our fellow uh group ended up going on the o'hare ramp tour which i'm kind of uh, bummed out that i uh, was not able to get signed up in time or i probably would have went on that one but it's all good and then various members broke off for lunch including what i was about to do as well so that will transition us into our next clip i ended up going to have some lunch with mom which was very nice it was really really good and we have some transitional clips to get us there so why don't we do that shall we Alrighty guys, very solid morning over there at the Hilton. Um, Got to get some lunch and I'm starving. So I'm going to take a slight break. But once we do that, we're going to come back over, um, get some good stuff in at the convention, and then go spotting here in a little bit. So very excited. Um, not sure if I'll buy or what I'll do, but have a great time talking to everybody. Uh, it's been super, super fun, and I've really enjoyed it. So yes, keeping it moving. Alrighty, so me and my mom ended up eating at this really nice restaurant. It was called the Park Tarvin. It was really, really good. I very much enjoyed it. I had a hamburger, she had a salad, and we were both very satisfied with the meal. It was very good, very reasonably priced, and you can't complain for getting out on an outing like that. So everybody ended up deviating to their own plans, so that's okay. And hey, it happens, and there were so many people on the tour, and you know, it was just a bunch of combining pieces, which is all good, and I can't complain about that. And you know, sometimes I, mom, you know, I want to spend some time with mom, and luckily I was able to do that through meals, which was really nice, and I very much appreciate her her efforts to make that happen, which was very, very nice. So with all that being said, uh, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that. I just spend time there and there's not too much to talk about anyway. So let's take it back over to the Hilton Rosemont and we have a lot of awesome items to go into. So let's get started as it was an absolute blast for the afternoon. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, back to the Hilton. We go after a solid lunch. Uh, we'll go to the Hilton probably for about two hours or so and then we'll migrate over to start plane spotting at Dave and Buster's or whatever location we end up picking. So they did move over to East Flow, so good to know. But yeah, Chicago keeps it up pretty good. It's very nice. And there's a plane behind the parking garage, but yes, we're out. So starting to get a little warm, but that's okay. Um, also um, ate quite a bit for lunch, so 
hopefully that settles nicely but nevertheless whatever it's good see you guys uh, at the hotel Alrighty, everybody, and here we go with another round of excellent pictures after lunch. Super excited to be back, and as you guys can see, we are starting it off with a bang with that incredible 1 to 200 lineup that was also there on day one, but this time it's in a, a slightly different orientation. I think there were some different models out, so I really like the format with having the boxes on top. I think that's really cool, and also having some boxes here in the front as well. That was really cool. So, from as you guys can see, some very stunning models over there. You got a Value Jet DC-9 over there, uh, some Northwest Bowling Shoe airplanes that look super, super nice. The Etihad and BA A350s looking great. Ember 145 for American, Delta uh, Widget 747-100 for in-flight right there. Uh, looks like an Alaska MD-80, United 757, TWA, Alaska, Blue Tulip aircraft. That reminds me of Lone Lawyer 6 so much, that 757, that's really cool. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have? Some uh, Lutanza aircraft. Look at that $1,200 price tag on the 747-8 oh my gosh what an incredible plane that is man i'm sure that's worth uh very rare on ebay uh by looking at that there's the america 747 100 as well man just look at some of these they're so nice blue tulip crj 700 plenty of southwest i mean this is such a diverse lineup i love it man that's so cool i think that may be a royal jordanian e319 maybe looking really cool and american mad dog oh man well stay tuned to see if i end up getting that man that, that is a beautiful plane right there how about that delta 77 southwest over there freedom one even down there on the bottom right so what an awesome assortment in that picture i mean ultimately just a great lineup of aircraft right there that is absolutely awesome as you guys can see right here we were able to get out some of the models including the united express by e plus uh crj 700 in the blue tulip colors such a detailed model you know this came out probably back in like 2008 or 9 or so and just to see how detailed the mold was it's co pretty comparable to nowadays which is quite fascinating to me and super super cool just look at the amazing precision on the nose landing gear the antennas the wing details looking amazing and then the engines the horizontal stabilizers just something that one 200 just sits so much different compared to the 400 scale so my goodness what a unit that is it was so cool to get to see that and that is a pretty model to say the least and then of course you had the chrome american 737 800 i've been looking for one of these so bad and i have been uh, very unsuccessful in getting one but i hope that my day comes very soon because you guys can just see that polished fuselage that is a unit man Ooh, that is nice. That is really, really nice. That was one of the original releases as well. So, so nice. High value models. And you can just see that 727. I wish we would have got that out to $600, but definitely most certainly worth it. T TWA MD-80 back there too. So cool, man. The 400 scale is amazing, but the 200 scale just does dividends. And I think that goes without saying at this point. Very nice. And then over here at ADI's table, we have the California 1 Southwest 737-700. This model really caught my eye. I would hope to maybe get it sometime because it is really nice. I've been looking to get a Southwest airplane for, in the 1 200 scale for a very long time. And I was very tempted here, but I did decide to go for another aircraft, as you guys will see. So stay on the lookout for that. But this is still a beautiful aircraft and definitely caught my eye. And an absolute stunner from Gemini Jets. They did a superb job on it, despite some small mold defects but hey they did really good i can't complain and it was really really nice to say the least and then, of course, in this next picture, you can see the United Airlines uh, 747 SP on the Sol Bass colors from In-Flight 200. This is another beautiful aircraft for a very solid price. This was a table on the back wall, and they had some really nice in-flight selections. I think I got some videos of them as well, so stay tuned for that. But, man, take a look how beautiful this Sol Bass aircraft is from the nose cone detail to the beautiful wing detail. I mean, 1 to 400 does it one way, but 1 to 200 just does it in another way. So this is kind of the 1 to 200 filter section, if you will. Excuse me. Oh, man it was so nice and you can even see the uh, plastic piece on the winglets the, or whatever you want to call those the wing spikes to show uh to not hit them man that is so cool so really nice job by in flight that is a superb model we also have the Qantas SP and the BOSC 747-400 most likely. It's a 400 or 747 of sorts. So really nice to see that. And that was absolutely awesome. So we do have some more video clips to transition into. So let's transition into those. Look at that Midway Metro link. Here's the new Southern Air 777. You have a channel as well? Very nice. Yeah, it's yes. Okay, I'll find this on it. I don't know what's up. Oh, look at that. Yep. Yes. Sorry for getting your phone in the video. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look at that silverware. Salt shakers. Hey, yes, in the trivia. That was, that was incredible. Put her now to get lunch while that was happening. Sure did. There are some serious clouds, but it doesn't look 
Alrighty guys, so here we go with the final segment of this video. I know it's been a very long one. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. It has been a blast to produce and Airliners International is on point, my goodness. I did want to say I completely forgot to mention that I got to meet Aviation24 as well. So sorry, my guy. Uh, definitely check out his channel. Really good guy and very nice, kind, and it was awesome to get to meet him. So Aviation24, if you're watching this, my friend, great to get to meet you, sir. It was an absolute blast. Taking a look at this next one of the 400 aircraft right here, we have the really cool Delta. I don't know if this is NHL livery or what this was. Uh, oh, I think it was the Salt Lake City Olympics 2002. That's what it is because this model is so common throughout uh, uh, the Ebays and all that fun stuff. I don't know why it never sold so well. Just take a look at how nice the color is on that. Of course, you got the orange, the gold, the dark blue, the gray. I mean, that's a really colorful livery. So kind of surprised that more people weren't as interested. Perhaps maybe it was because the widget kind of delivery because i don't know if this was a hybrid or what it was but it looks like it was attempted to be the widget livery uh got was replaced by the colors and motion at that point so i don't know what kind of special to compare it to but nevertheless it was interesting not to see it sell as well quite an interesting aircraft but i think it looks really nice so let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section that was pretty oh my this is another pretty model so this is actually a jet x hawaiian air md80 in the one to 200 scale so jet x had a variety of one to 200 and one to 400 molds back in their run during the early 2000s i believe in one to 200 scale some of their notable molds were especially the absolutely stunning don doubles md80 i couldn't believe this had aerials for the time i don't know when this was released of course but very detailed they did a great job i believe they had that and uh i'm trying to think of one to 200 but 400 i believe they had the triple seven md80 ember 145 i think so they had a variety of molds but this was a perfect example take a look at how beautiful that livery is from the orange to the pink to the purple what an iconic livery this is, and this would have been a really cool plane for anybody to pick up. So that is a beauty right there, and obviously you guys can see why I took a picture of it. Such a nice aircraft, and it was really cool. Let me know what you guys think about the assessments of Airliners International so far. Let me know what you guys like to see me improve for next year, and even for the day three vlog. So feel free to comment and let me know what your guys' opinions are. I would love to hear and continue to enhance. I definitely anticipate doing many more video clips because I'd love to share more of the raw experience, kind of like the baseball game vlog, if you will. But really excited to see what's to come, and feel free to let me know if you guys have any additional thoughts because i'd love to hear and our final picture of the day two vlog before we head over to spot of course that'll be another video but to finish uh the day two vlog we have this absolutely massive uh I don't know if this is a one like 72 or what this is, but of course it is a Boeing 777-9X, uh, whatever, whatever they end up calling it. There it is right there, a really cool aircraft. Uh, I just noticed how big it is. I mean, you can see it in contrast to the table and there's some really good examples with the um, table or the chairs right there and everything to see how big of an aircraft this is. And even there's some sort of Electra back there to compare it to, but man, this thing was massive. Just take a look at how big it is from the stunning fuselage to the engines to the massive wings. This thing is really cool, and it was a very nice aircraft to get to see, and I definitely uh, could not help but notice it, and this was in the right room, by the way. So this is really cool to get to see what a unit this was, and man, what an awesome aircraft. That was an absolute blast. So... So yeah, that will do it for the day two vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So sorry that kind of the uh, commentary got a little jobbled up in there. Sometimes I just got on a roll and didn't take a break to get a drink of water. But nevertheless, I thought it turned out well and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so after this, we have still some great content to look forward to. So don't worry because we have some great stuff. We have the highly uh, anticipated spotting vlog at Chicago Air National Airport. That will be by far one of the best spotting videos I ever produced. Expect that at some point next week, hopefully maybe on Saturday or so. I will do my absolute best to have that out as soon as possible it was a massive video and it's definitely going to take some time to edit so bear with me but i hope to have that out for sure hopefully by the end of july that's the goal so well next week is but nevertheless i'll have it out as soon as possible for you guys to so stay on the lookout for it it was so much fun and it's going to be a blast to produce also feel free in the meantime to check out jj skippy and as aviation spotting videos because that will be a teaser of what's to come in this one uh to go along with that you can expect the day three vlog to follow that which was another very good vlog it was a very interesting dynamic but i think i I ended up getting a lot of footage because unfortunately there wasn't quite as many people so expect that to come as well that will be a blast and i'll be excited to share that footage with you guys and uh content as well and then following that i think i have not decided what i want to do with my tournament spotting video at o'hare i think i'm going to leave it to go with all the other flight content which is what i'm diving into next so what i'm going to end up doing is uh concluding with the day three vlog i may do one final assessment video so let me know if you guys would be interested to see that but following that of course once we finish this breeze day trip uh for nashville which is almost done just give me one more month and we'll be done with it then we'll transition into the bulk of 
excuse me, we'll transition into the bulk of having our, I'm forgetting the word, I'm sorry. We'll transition into uh, the flight content uh, on the way to airliners. So we'll have, of course, all four United flights, a lot of spotting. It was really good. You guys are gonna be looking forward to it. I don't need to talk about it anymore. It's really good. You guys know what I'm talking about. Ex start, expect that starting in September with that 739 flight to Houston via United. So really excited for that. And there's a lot of really good upcoming stuff. I'm not quite done with summer. So we have a lot of great events coming. I'm not exactly sure what it entails. I hope to do at least a couple more. I'm definitely going to be doing a couple more things in the middle of August. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do anything else, but I'm doing my absolute best considering how busy I am with work, flight training, and of course, making this content for you guys and all the family stuff and you name it, we've been doing it, but really excited for what's to come. I hope you guys are too. And sorry, I kind of drawed this out, but I always like to leave you guys with something to think about because I don't want you guys to ever be sad that content, um, that this video is over because I know that, that at least that's how I feel content. At least is I really, I kind of get, I kind of get sad when my, when I don't get another video for a little bit, but we are uploading daily right now. And I hope to continue to, I hope for five times a week, but we'll see what happens going into college, at least three, but I think five is definitely a doable number with some of this content. So let me know what you guys think, but I'm really excited for what's to come. I hope you guys are as well. And that will do it for today's uh, Airliners International vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Red of Aviation, but thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process, do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as our Dirt Aviation is signing off.